J.P. Morgan is a name synonymous with power and influence in the world of American finance. Yet despite his incredible success, Morgan's legacy is also marked by controversy. Accused of manipulating markets, creating monopolies, and using his immense wealth to influence the government and political system, Morgan was a polarizing figure during his lifetime. His personal life was also a subject of scrutiny, with rumors and speculations surrounding his relationships and extravagant lifestyle. However, his impact on the development of the American economy and his role in shaping the financial industry cannot be denied. So, was J.P. Morgan a visionary businessman who helped the American economy, or a ruthless tycoon who put his own interests ahead of the wider public? John Pierpont Morgan, known to most as J.P., was born on a warm spring day in 1837 in Hartford, Connecticut. From an early age, young J.P. showed a natural curiosity and intelligence that set him apart from his peers. As the son of a wealthy banker and financier, J.P. was exposed to the world of finance and business from a young age. Despite his privileged upbringing, J.P. was not content to simply coast through life on his family's wealth. Instead, he was determined to make a name for himself in the world of finance. As a teenager, J.P. spent countless hours studying the stock market and reading financial news. He also developed a love for mathematics, which he saw as an essential tool for understanding the intricacies of finance. As a teenager, J.P. Morgan was already showing a keen interest in finance and business. His father, Junius Spencer Morgan, was a prominent banker and financier who had founded J.S. Morgan & Company, one of the most successful banking firms in the United States. Growing up in a family of wealth and privilege, J.P. had access to the best education and opportunities money could buy. Despite his advantages, J.P. was not content to rest on his family's laurels. He was determined to make his own mark in the world of finance and began studying the stock market and reading financial news at an early age. He also developed a love for mathematics, which he saw as an essential tool for understanding the intricacies of finance. In his late teens, J.P. was sent to study in Europe, where he continued to pursue his passion for finance and business. He attended the University of Göttingen in Germany, where he studied advanced mathematics and developed a deep understanding of the principles of finance. He also traveled to France and Italy, where he immersed himself in the cultural and intellectual life of the continent. During his teenage years, J.P. was already showing the qualities that would make him one of the most successful and influential bankers of his time. He had a natural curiosity and intelligence that set him apart from his peers and a determination to succeed that would serve him well throughout his life. He was also deeply committed to his education, seeing it as the key to unlocking his potential and achieving his goals. J.P.'s teenage years may have been filled with privilege and opportunity, but they were also marked by hard work, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. These qualities would serve him well throughout his life and help him to become one of the most successful and respected figures in American finance. In 1871, J.P. Morgan joined forces with Philadelphia banker Anthony Drexel to form Drexel Morgan & Company, a banking firm that would soon become one of the most successful and influential financial institutions in the United States. Morgan was initially a junior partner in the firm, but his talent for finance and his natural leadership abilities quickly propelled him to a position of greater power and influence within the company. Under Morgan's leadership, Drexel, Morgan & Company became known for its ability to orchestrate complex financial deals and rescue struggling businesses. Throughout his career, J.P. Morgan became known for his ability to navigate complex financial deals and rescue struggling businesses. He had a reputation as a financial wizard who could turn around even the most dire financial situations, and his clients came to rely on him for his expertise and guidance. Morgan's ability to orchestrate complex financial deals was legendary. He was known for his skills at negotiating with government officials, other powerful bankers, and even foreign leaders. He was also a master of the art of the deal, able to leverage his extensive network of connections and his reputation as one of the most respected bankers in the country to his advantage. Morgan's reputation as a financial savior was built on his ability to rescue struggling businesses. He had a particular talent for identifying companies that were on the verge of collapse and developing innovative financial strategies to save them. One of his most famous rescues was the bailout of the U.S. government during the Panic of 1907. Morgan used his own resources to stabilize the financial markets and prevent a total economic collapse. In addition to his work rescuing struggling businesses, Morgan also played a key role in the formation of several major corporations. 
He was a key figure in the creation of General Electric and U.S. Steel, two of the most influential companies of the early 20th century. He also helped to finance the construction of railroads and other major infrastructure projects, which helped to fuel the rapid growth of the American economy. J.P. Morgan was one of the most important figures in the development of the U.S. economy during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. One of his most significant contributions was his role in financing the construction of railroads, which were essential to the rapid expansion of the American economy during this period. Morgan played a key role in the consolidation of the American railroad industry, which had become fragmented and inefficient by the late 19th century. He used his extensive network of connections and his reputation as a financial wizard to help organize the merger of several major railroads into larger, more efficient companies. One of Morgan's most famous railroad deals was the creation of the Northern Securities Company in 1901. The company was a consolidation of several major railroads in the northern United States, and Morgan was instrumental in its formation. The creation of Northern Securities helped to stabilize the railroad industry and pave the way for construction of new railroads and other infrastructure projects. In addition to his work in the railroad industry, Morgan also played a key role in the development of other industries and sectors of the U.S. economy. He was a major investor in the emerging electrical industry and played a key role in the creation of General Electric, one of the largest and most influential companies of the 20th century. Despite his reputation as a financial genius and shrewd businessman, J.P. Morgan was not immune to controversy. Over the course of his career, he was involved in several high-profile controversies and scandals that tarnished his reputation and drew criticism from some quarters. During the Panic of 1907, the U.S. economy was in turmoil and many banks and financial institutions were struggling to stay afloat. J.P. Morgan, as one of the most powerful bankers in the country, was one of the key figures involved in efforts to stabilize the financial system. However, Morgan's actions during the crisis were not without controversy. Critics accused him of using his power and influence to manipulate the markets and benefit himself and his clients at the expense of the wider economy. One of the most significant examples of this was Morgan's efforts to create a syndicate to stabilize the stock market. Some critics argued that Morgan's actions amounted to market manipulation, and he was effectively using his power to prop up the stock prices of certain companies at the expense of others. Critics also accused Morgan of using his influence to force weaker banks and financial institutions to accept unfavorable terms in order to receive assistance from his syndicate. Some argued that Morgan was effectively creating a monopoly in the banking industry, with his syndicate holding significant power and influence over the financial system. J.P. Morgan's immense wealth and power as a banker made him a significant player in the political landscape of the United States during his lifetime. However, Morgan's influence over the government and political system was a source of controversy, with some accusing him of using his power to sway political decisions in favor of his business interests. Morgan's influence over the government also extended to his personal relationships with politicians and government officials. He was known to have close relationships with a number of influential figures, including President Theodore Roosevelt and Treasury Secretary Leslie Shaw. And some critics argued that he used these relationships to sway political decisions in his favor. In addition to his business and political dealings, J.P. Morgan's personal life was also a subject of scrutiny during his lifetime. Rumors and speculations surrounding his relationships and lifestyle were common, and these controversies often fueled criticism of Morgan's business practices and influence over the government. One of the most persistent rumors about Morgan was that he was involved in a romantic relationship with the actress Evelyn Nesbitt. Nesbitt was a well-known figure in New York City during the early 20th century, and her relationship with Morgan was the subject of much speculation and gossip. Another controversial aspect of Morgan's personal life was his tendency to live extravagantly. He was known for his lavish parties and expensive taste in art and other luxury goods, and some critics argued that his extravagant lifestyle was evidence of his detachment from the struggles of ordinary Americans. Despite these controversies, Morgan remained a highly respected figure in the business and financial worlds. In the last years of his life, J.P. Morgan's health began to decline and he began to withdraw from his business interests. He suffered from chronic pain and other health issues, which made it difficult for him to continue working at the same pace as he had in his early years. Despite his declining health, Morgan remained involved in his business interests until his death in 1913. 
he continued to advise and consult with his colleagues, and his reputation as one of the most influential bankers in the country remained secure. Morgan's death was a major loss for the financial community and for the country as a whole. He had played a key role in the development of the U.S. economy and had been instrumental in the creation of many of the country's largest and most successful companies. In the years following his death, Morgan's legacy continued to be felt in the financial world. His investment bank, J.P. Morgan & Company, remained one of the most powerful financial institutions in the world, and his reputation as a financial wizard and shrewd businessman continued to inspire generations of bankers and investors.